Deepa, how's it going, my man? I'm doing great, my friend. How are you? I'm hanging in there. I can't complain. It's uh, It's been a couple of months since we've heard, heard from you. You holding up all right? Everything going good? Everything is going great, man. We, uh, we're we expecting our second child here uh, real soon, like really, really, really soon. So just uh, getting the house ready, getting prepared. Just can't wait. Well, congratulations on that, and I appreciate you carving some time out. But uh, let's talk about why we're here, uh, you guys. You guys being the UFC, you, Modelo, uh, you guys have a partnership that's uh, with Rebuilding Together. You guys are going to be doing some exciting stuff there, some initiatives to, to help some gyms out. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it, it's, it's awesome. You know, Modelo UFC, they partnered up with uh, um, Rebuilding Together, an organization, and uh, they, they're going around across the country. And they started here first in Cleveland. <laughs> Actually, I'm hometown. I'm from Euclid, where I was, you know, I was raised as a child. Uh, revolution playing fitness and they're rehabbing gyms and making them better that's great man and obviously you've been one to always kind of give back to your community i mean how important is it for you to to, to do stuff like this i know uh your career as a firefighter has been well documented at this point but some of this other stuff uh i'm assuming this is something that you really enjoy doing too yeah definitely i, I it's just i love giving back you know i, I would tell I, I i always say when you know, as a child, I was always helped out, you know, team sports, this, that, and the other. And, and just, you know, I love to give back. And just, if I can help someone out and make their day better or make their gym better or just make their life better, I'm down. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great mentality. And um, I guess, too, the Modelo partnership sounds like it's extended as well. You're kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the poster boy for them. You and Brian Ortega, I think people think of uh, you guys, MMA fans think of you guys when they hear ecstasy of gold more than, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So are you excited to be able to, to kind of stick with them through thick and thin throughout the years? Yeah, you know, with Modelo, they're, they're awesome. They're just a great company overall, just the people there. They're just so just – this is awesome. I just love working with them. And just, it's, it's great to work with a company that's just – they're always there for you. They're always willing to give back, not just to you, just the community and, and with anything. And just, uh, you know, it's a fresh air. Yeah, and let's talk about you a little bit. Um, like I said, it's been a little while since we've we've heard you. I know fans have been uh, asking us all the time, when's Steve going to get back in there? So on your end, I mean, how are things going? Do you, do you feel like we're, we're moving towards a return? Have negotiations stalled? Where do you stand on your uh, long-awaited return, man? Uh, n- nothing yet. You know, we're going to – like I said, we'll sit down here in September with, uh, with Dana, and you know, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. And I saw recently, I think uh, the, the – one of the few times we have heard from you was uh, kind of in the, the comments on Instagram on a one championship post. And you were saying you, you thought that you should get it, you know, the champions get those rematches and, and you felt like you should get yours. So is it safe to say that you're a little frustrated with the UFC right now that you guys aren't going to eye, or is it just, you know, like you said, something that you hope to figure out in the next month? I just hope there's something to figure out in the next month. You know, like, uh, you know, just we'll, we'll, we'll get this. I just, you know, baby steps. Everything's in negotiation. Yeah, and, and would you say right now it's title fight or bust for you? Like, when you come back, does it have to be for a belt? Well, I, I would, that's what I would love. I mean, I wouldn't I would go that far, but I would, that's, you know, I'm definitely aiming for it. I think, uh, you know, I'm not crying about it or anything, but I feel like I deserve it, you know, and I think that, uh, you know, that interim belt, I would, you know, they needed the Nash if I wanted it. You know, I probably couldn't have taken it, but I would, just, you know, would love the Nash if I wanted the opportunity. But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I definitely want to shout my title, get my, get my belt back. No doubt, man. And I'm assuming, obviously, you kept a close eye on that fight between uh, Surreal and Derek. Uh, what did you What did you think of Surreal Gon's performance there? I, I didn't really watch it. <laughs> <laughs> or not. I fell asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, though, you know, what did you think of uh, kind of that whole situation with Francis? I mean, were you – were you surprised that they went to that interim fight? Because I feel like it affected you a little bit as well, right? It, it kind of made it like one more thing that needs to happen before you, you, you fight for that title. Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I definitely, you definitely, you know, nailed it. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't know what the UFC is thinking. You know, I'm not a matchmaker. I don't, you know, do that. if I was, I wouldn't be fighting. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, definitely, you know, a little more step now because of that interim belt. But, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll talk to him in September. And I know Dana's kind of, uh, you know, floated the idea of you and John Jones a couple of times. And he said he's, he's reiterated time and time again that it sounds like you're in. Is that accurate? Is that maybe perhaps the fight that you would you would come back for if a title wasn't on the line? 
We said, I'd fight anyone. I don't, I, I, you know, I've, I've said it from day one, I'll fight anyone. Is there anything particular that interests you about the Jones fight, just being who he is and kind of his legacy, or is it just, you know, just whoever they put oh, on? Oh, yeah, that's for sure. But, I mean, no, I just wanted to for me, but definitely, I mean, definitely he's one of the pound for pound best fighters of all time. He's, you know, a great, great uh, accolade to have on my resume. And the fight against, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, you know, you thought maybe a little bit about the, the Francis versus Surreal matchup. Dana sounds like we'll probably be next. Do um, you feel like Francis will, will win that fight? Is there any way that you're leaning there? No, you know, I mean, as long as it's a good fight, you know, they're both good players. You know, uh, you know he's, uh, he's really good. He's got good technique. He's good, very skilled player. He's smart, intelligent. You know, with Francis, he's just a monster. He got hit hard. And, you know, he, he takes more for him. Is there part of you at all that's kind of hoping Francis wins so that you guys can have the trilogy for the title, or is it again? Does it not matter? Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. You know, maybe more and more drama and all that good stuff. Definitely, definitely would love uh, Francis to win. But I now mean, I really care who wins. You know, as long as I get a shot and I get my title back. I, th- I think a lot of times in MMA, it's kind of a "What have you done for me lately?" sport, right? So people see you lose to Francis and they say, "Oh, Francis will win." the third fight. But I mean, you were with that, you, you went through that same thing with Daniel Corman. You proved all those people wrong. So I guess w- when you went back and watched the, the second performance against Francis that you had, I mean, do you feel like that there's a lot of adjustments you have to make in order to go out there and beat him? Or is it just like some mental stuff kind of, what did you tack up that loss to? Well, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I, just, I, didn't, I didn't watch the, I didn't go over the fight. I haven't watched it yet. I will eventually, but I haven't yet. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things I can do better. And, you know, just unfortunately it was his night, and, you know, kind of a good punch. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, it's, it's the fight game. Is, is there an ideal timeline in which you would like to come back? No, right now I'm just going to worry about you know, my child and, you know, have a sit down with Dana. Yeah, no doubt. And I, I would be uh, I'd be remiss not to ask you, too, uh, you know, the combat sports king of Cleveland. You guys have a big boxing fight coming up here this weekend. Uh, will you be in attendance for that one, or, or is Jake Hall not really your jam? No, 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 I'll be there. I'll be there for sure. Who, who you got in the main event? My you wife, you know, she's like, well, it's funny because, like, my wife's, like, about to give birth, and she's like, I'm going. I'm like, oh, okay. Or well, well, if the child's here, so, you know, the child comes, and she's not going, of course, or or, or, or am I. But, um, yeah, no, uh, you know, I'm excited. You know, it's going to be a great fight, and, uh, you know, I'm excited. It's, it's great to bring some something like this to Cleveland. It's a, I think a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of good things, and just helps uh, flourish the city more. Awesome, man. Well, good luck with that. I heard you doing the stare down this week. Is that correct? Yeah, man. It's getting out there, I guess. Yeah. Stop for him. I'm excited. Yeah, that's very cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time today. Good luck with everything. Congratulations on the extended partnership and the kid on the way as well. Thank you so much.